Hey guys, welcome back to Garage Works. Hey, I'm excited. You just saw that before picture of the wheels and the after, right? So I'm going to walk you through my steps to take. Uh, here's this is the other side of uh, the car. This is uh, the before, and I'm going to show you what I do to get to that after picture. So uh, I have here lined up what we're going to need before. So I have some, this is just a standard spray bottle, and I have uh, some simple green. This is diluted two to one. I have some super clean for the tire itself. Masking tape. We're going to be using 220 grit sandpaper, some paper towels, index cards, and then I have the primer and the aluminum colored spray paint. So I'm going to modify this a little bit because I'm in Indiana, it's 30 degrees outside. I'm doing this inside my garage. So my modification is to be able to do this inside my garage, I have a bucket of soapy water, a scrub brush, and then I'm gonna be using some air to uh, help dry this out. I'll probably uh, break out my heat gun as well. So um, if you're somewhere that's sunny and it's warm right now, you can uh, use a garden hose and let the sun do the work. But in, in this particular instance, I'm gonna be modifying to speed up the process since it's cold outside. So um, I'm gonna get started here. We're gonna start with the simple green and the soapy water. So I'm gonna spray this down and then I'm gonna start agitating. So here we go. Uh, I know you guys are gonna be bored, but I appreciate you tagging along. Hey, if you learn anything through the video, if you could do me a favor, hit that subscribe button on the corner. I'd appreciate it. I did forget to mention, make sure you wear nitro gloves. All of this stuff is chemical based, so uh, we don't want that getting absorbed into our skin. So invest in some good nitro gloves. So I got that on there. Scrub brush. Start agitating. All right, so I'm back. Got some fresh water again. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet this down and then we're gonna go in and use our sandpaper now and I'm gonna do kind of a wet sand with that. But for now, let me get all that grime off my wheel. Won't be happy with that. So we'll start our wet sanding. <clears throat> so what I have here is some 220 grit sandpaper. We'll wet our wheel down and we'll start sanding. Fold this over, wet the sandpaper, wet your wheel. And I wanna be taking out the rust spots. And as you feel it, we just wanna get this as smooth as possible. Here is kind of some blue, blue paint that's raised. The rust spots are raised. And we just kinda of wanna work that. Now the primer does a really good job of filling in these scratches that are gonna come out through me sanding. All right, so we just finished the wet sanding. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the soapy water and then I'm gonna use my air dryer. I'm gonna dry this wheel and it is uh, really cold in my garage. So I'm actually gonna use my heat gun that I got over there. That's a 
Harbor Freight heat gun. It was about, it was less than $10, so. Um, but it is uh, cold and I want to be able to put my primer on still tonight, so I'm gonna use that to warm up the, the rim so that the primer will stick. So, uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my soapy water that I had before and we're just gonna kinda use this, clean it up some. Get the rest of that, any crud that's on there. And then the paper towels and dry this. So I'm gonna do this to both wheels. Again, I'm just, just soapy water, dry it. I'm gonna use my air gun, my air to blow out any water, and then I'll use my hair, my heat gun. So I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, so I just uh, used my airline to kind of get move all the water away um, and do a semi-dry. And a, like again, this is just a $10 Harbor Freight heat gun. Um, so I'm just kind of giving it some passes. Uh, really want this to be nice and dry. Like I say, it's 30 degrees in Indiana today, tonight. Uh, just give it some passes, dry up the wheel. But I'm really happy with this, so I'll take a quick pause here. I'm gonna move over to the other wheel and I'm gonna do the same thing. When we come back, I'll uh, show you what I do to Tape this off, we're gonna tape off the wheel. Um, I like to use plastic over the tire. I don't really want any paint on the tire itself, so I have some clear plastic that I kind of use as a donut wheel. I kind of saved that from the last time I did this. You don't have to. I've seen plenty of guys where they get their index card and they just line it around the wheel and that's all they do. Whatever you're comfortable with, like I don't, I don't think there's an exact science to this, but uh, I liked the step that they, the steps that I've seen in some of the other videos, so I'm gonna follow that. All right, so we're good and dry now. Took the heat gun to both wheels. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a line of masking tape again. I only do that because I don't want any paint on the tire itself, just on the rim, so. Uh, I'm gonna do my my line and there's no science to this just kind of work your way around All right, so I'm gonna pause here. I'm gonna do both wheels with the tape and then I'm gonna put the index cards. So, be right back. Okay, so I've done masking off my tire, got the masking underneath. Like I say, I, I did this for the other two wheels. Uh, you don't have to do this. I just like it as an added layer of protection. So, um, now we're just Gonna work our way around the rim and we'll be ready to prime. Okay, we're ready for primer. So I really like this uh, Rust-Oleum two-time ultra coverage. I got this at Walmart, I think. Um, so shake it for about a minute. Very light, light coating initially. Wait about 10 minutes. Then you can give it another coat. Wait another 10 minutes and then you kind of want the whole rim to be covered. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do a very light coat. Um, but take for a minute.
Okay. We don't want overspray, so <clears throat> do a little bit of that. And again, very light. The other thing I like about this can is that it's an any angle sprayer. So not very much on this initial coat and we'll wait 10 minutes and we'll come back. So I just shook this up for another minute. I'll kind of clear that line and then we'll go a little bit heavier this time where you'll start to see a lot more coverage on the wheel. All right. All right, 10 more minutes. We'll give this about another 10 more minutes and then we'll give it a third coat. All right, so this will be our third coat, a little bit heavier this time. Um, it's already making a big difference, so I'm liking it. My wife was saying, you might notice in the background that my garage works channel shows that my garage needs work. Hit that like button. And we'll do some work. All right, so I'm gonna give this another 10 minutes. I'm gonna take my heat gun to it, let it dry up. And then what I'll probably use is uh, use my cell phone light because it is getting darker in here. So I just wanna see if there's any areas that I missed and hit those on the last last coat. So we'll give this a couple minutes to dry. So I we've got three coats on there now. The rims are looking uh, nice. Always a good idea. Like I say, it's nighttime here and I'm just using my garage lights. Um, so I'm taking the light and I can see where I'm still a little light on my coat. Um, so for this particular rim, it's on the inside lip and here where it indents, you can kind of, I'm not sure how much the camera will pick up, but it, it, it picks it up at least in my garage, but take a light to it. If, if you're, if you're not out in normal daylight, if you take your light to it and kind of catch catch an area where you want um, the full rim to be primed. I can, I can tell I still need some on the lip and uh, where the wheel kind of indents a little bit, but we'll get it. Uh, one more coat, we'll get this. We'll let this cure overnight and then we'll come back tomorrow and we'll give it that um, aluminum look, kind of like that factory look, so. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have that other coat.
All right, guys, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. So four coats, and again, night and day difference just with the primer. So now we're gonna leave it. We're gonna let this cure overnight, and we'll be back tomorrow to give it the aluminum look. So uh, last night, we were able to get uh, all of the primer onto the wheels, and they dried overnight, and it is still cold in Indiana, so um, we're gonna move forward. So tonight, we're gonna finally get our, our paint on. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I have what I need here. I have some water, paper towels. I should have had this on last night. I thought I had better ventilation in my garage. I do not, so I have a painter's mask, my heat gun so like I say it's still cold in my garage so because I'm gonna be kind of wetting this down with the water uh, before we put in our uh, aluminum paint uh, I'm gonna make sure that we have everything nice and dry so um, let's get started so we're gonna just wipe this down light uh, it's just uh, very light just to get I had to put one wheel back on last night to get this uh, out of the garage so my wife and I could park our, our cars in the garage. But we just want a nice clean surface. You can see it's still some dirt. We just want to pick up as much dirt as possible. All right, so I've shaken this a little bit longer. Uh, I do have my rugged and manly painter's mask on here. So again, shake, spray. Very light coats. All right, we'll leave that for 10 minutes. Still stink in here, so we'll be back in a couple minutes. All right, coat number two. Coat number three. So this is three coats. Like I say, I think the rims turned out really well. And, uh, we're gonna let that dry. They'll be, they're gonna cure overnight, and then tomorrow they'll be ready for the clear coat. So uh, I'm really happy with these. And like I say, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down at the bottom, and uh, we're gonna let these uh, dry for a little bit, and then uh, we'll be back tomorrow.